people. So this is Siddiq uh, from Toronto, Ontario. Uh, today we will be discussing uh, uh, regarding the age factor, which is a uh, part of the video series of basics of expression program. So this is basically for those people who are always um, regarding their age and they are thinking, oh, I'm about um, the age of 40, so am I eligible for this uh, Canadian immigration process or not? So just to give you some idea, yes, you are eligible and you may not be eligible also okay so i'll be trying to make the point very very clear whether you are eligible or not with the help of this video okay so going forward i just want to recap some of the uh, matters that we have already discussed in the previous video like you have to be qualified uh, under two of the point increase which is 100 and 1200 so first uh, let's go ahead with the 100 points grade so i'm just recapping the summary table here so that you can see uh, what is the what are the sectors involved and for the age you can get maximum 12 out of 100 okay then i'm also sharing the age tables like for which age you will get what point so that you can you can play around okay and for the six selection factors that means the details of 100 points i am giving a video reference here so that you can check the details of that video so and now i'll give you a couple examples so that you can find out your your own one and that's it let's see so for the example one and two as you can see just i'm playing around with the age numbers then the education uh work experience and other factors okay so now let's assume the average employment and adaptability is zero for both the case but in in both the cases i just played around with the clb9 and clb8 and masters and the three years bachelor now we can see in the example one even if your age is 42 still you can make that 67 points which is the minimum requirement and for the example two even if your age is uh, 36 years you can make up because you are getting three years bachelor then still be eight so for the experience factor i'm not changing it because anyway if you are at the age of 36 or 42 definitely you should have six plus years experience okay now let's go to another two examples example three and four where i'm considering you may not get CLB 9 or your age is even higher, let's say 46 years of age. So in that cases, you have the options to, to go for the adaptability if you are lucky enough and if you can claim some points from your spouse or like if you have any relative in Canada, so you can get additional five points and then only you can make the points overall as 68, which meets the minimum requirement of 67, right? So again for the the claim again for claiming the points from your spouse or from your relative we have two different videos so i'm giving the references here and also in the suggested link that points from a spouse in express entry program and uh, can relative help in canada immigration process if you go through these two videos definitely you'll have the idea how to claim points from a spouse or the relative right so i guess these examples help you to find out what should be your age or how your age factor is affected the overall immigration process now regarding the 1200 points i'm just recapping one more time i'm giving the summary table here like the details 1200 points and as you can see the point the, for the age the point can be maximum 100 if you are married and if you're single then the points would be 110 and i'm also sharing the detailed tables for the age and also giving the uh, video references because already we have covered in detail for the serious criteria i'm not going to present any examples regarding the age factor because if you have passed already in that 100 point grade by meeting minimum 67 points for sure you should not have any problem to go ahead with these 1200 points because the worst case would be if you're not getting enough points to, to qualify for the ita so again i'm re i'm recapping something here like to get qualified in the ita uh, the current trend is about 450 points so if you cannot make that 450 points with your age level so don't worry 
just try for PNP provincial nomination program so if you qualify for the provincial nomination program straight away you are getting 600 points so that should not be a problem so just go ahead with that and that's why I'm not playing any example here but anyway if you're if you're interested enough you can surely play by yourself but the main uh, focus was on the 100 point grid because that is the points that most of us who are having the age level on the range of 40 around they are not being qualified so i just tried to explain that part so this is it about this video so stay tuned stay fine and keep watching keep subscribing our videos see you on some other next videos bye bye